Hey guys, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and I am so excited. I am finally going to be trying out a brand that I've always wanted to try out, but it was just right outside my budget. I've always wanted to try this brand out because their clothes are made of recyclable materials, specifically recyclable plastic bottles and also recyclable fabrics and you know, old carpet fluff and old fishing nets. And I think that is so amazing. I always wanted to support but as you know how this channel is, I am on a budget, budget lifestyle. So while I appreciate and love brands that are doing sustainable uh, fashion, I have to think about my budget. And so therefore, when the products are full price, it is not at the top of my list for things that I wanna try, but I'm so excited because for the first time that I've seen, they had a 20% off sale and I was like, Time to dive in. Because this is a brand that's in a higher tier in terms of price range, I'm gonna be extra, extra, extra honest in my review. I wanna find out, is it worth the hype? So would I be wanting to pay full price for this? Is it worth it in the long run? Or should I just stick to the sales? Or maybe even the sale price is not even worth it. Does sustainable fashion actually compare to regular quality? I did a video a couple months back on sustainable jeans and those definitely lived up to the quality. You can check out that video. I'll have it linked down below or up in the cards. That was. So so much fun. I used the brand 1822 denim and their stuff is made of recyclable fibers. But let's get into it. I love to do my honest opinion without even opening the box or anything like that. So I have the bag right here. It says Girlfriend Collective on it. This took a bit with shipping, I think because there was a sale. So I ordered this on October 26th and it didn't arrive till about three weeks later on November 13th. If you're interested in shipping and all that kind of stuff, you're thinking about holiday gifts coming up, that is important to you. So I wanted to share that. Oh, there's a bag. How cool. Okay, so it just comes like like this inside. Oh, and I love the colors that I got. I got the colors moss and mulberry. I just wanted these deeper rich colors and they already look amazing. Sacrificing the earth and the people on it shouldn't be an industry standard and it will never be ours. We love that. We're here for that. Oh, and when you're finished with this item, you can send it back so it can have like a second life. So I guess they recycle the clothes that you have as well. I think that's amazing. This is a 100% recycled pink pouch. You could probably use this when you're on the go and you go to the gym. Well, who goes to the gym anymore? All right. There were so many colors, so it's so hard to choose between them, but I just wanted to go with something that, colors that I did absolutely did not have, but I trusted that they would look good with my skin tone. The first thing I got was the Paloma bra. So in terms of bra sizes, I wish I had to go for something that I can have a bra on under just in case, but I'll be trying all these without a bra so you can see and we can do a little bounce check, see how that works out. This is in a size small and this is in the moss color. It's definitely coming up brighter on screen because I have lights, but it is like a deep green or forest green green I am a little worried I actually I should be okay sometimes when I hold things up they look like they're gonna be too big band just looks like it might be a little loose it has a nice fabric that's soft but feels stretchy to hold me in and then for the bottoms I got the moss compressive high-rise leggings I got a 28.5 inseam I tried to look at the models on the website to see where I would fit in I think they had someone 5'5 five five. I'm five four and a half so I tried to kind of look at that to figure it out but in seems always throw me and then of course I got high waisted because I just like that in general it's a nice thick band the quality feels so nice this is my stretch which is good and this one again I got in a size small so I just need to make sure to wash it with light colors both of these are dark colors so I'll be washing them with my darks are there any pockets or anything like that let's see there is a pocket in the back right where the tag is which is kind of interesting so if you had to put like a key or a card or something, you could. This next one is the Dylan bra. I got it in a size small. I really liked this because it looked like a crop top as opposed to a sports bra. Here is the back of it so you can see. Whenever I hold stuff up, and I'm sure you're used to that too when you're holding your own stuff up, you can kind of feel what seems like it might be big. I'm worried that the band is gonna pucker out on my waist, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just, this is just my initial thoughts. It just feels like the band might be a little bit big. The other one, has a sports bra back as well so you can see this one is much uh, thinner in the back and this one covers a more in your back and covers more in the front clearly I went with high-rise again for these leggings this is the high-rise pocket leggings I thought that was kind of cool they have pockets on the side it's small it's deep but it's small this is my hand trying to fit in and I definitely can't get it they're only that stitching right there so now is the time to go try it on I'm really excited my initial thoughts is that I have a feeling for whatever reason I think band down here might be a little loose let's go ahead try these on and we'll see how it looks okay 
Okay, so if you've been with me, you know I got the low ceilings going on. What I thought was correct. This top puckers. You know how you just, I guess, know your body? If I pull it up like I just did, then it fits on my ribs, but then it's just a little bit loose up here. I don't know if you could tell, but I almost would have like that much that I could take in. For reference, 34B, about 25, 36 and a half ish uh, hips. Um, so usually a small. This was a little bit of a journey to get on. I don't know if it's because it's the first time through, but like pulling it on, I was kind of like, is this gonna fit? I love the color. It doesn't feel like scuba diver level, but like you gotta you gotta squeeze into it. And I was just worried I was gonna rip it, so I was like, uh. But I, I did get in, and strangely enough, as you can see, I got in, but like I, I have some loose loose sizing things going on like I have some gathering right here if I pull it up more then this goes higher yeah like that's a little better but now the pants are like literally at my ribs if I wanted to I could roll it down but then the tag would stick out and that is my only thing for this first one is that I just got the pucker going on that makes a difference when you spend a lot of money. You know how when you use something it starts to stretch out a little bit over time this would probably really annoy me so we're gonna have to figure it out I feel like I just don't know that I would fit into an extra small. Around here, it fits fine. So I think it might be the construction of the type of bra, so the Paloma is actually not for me. Because again, if you're supposed to wear this down here, and this is supposed to be the look, like, that is not the look, honey. Not the look. Just for some contrast before I try the other tops on, if you wanted to buy and mix and match, you could, and this actually looks cute together, these two colors, so. I just wanted to show that before I quickly transition over. Okay, so here is the Dylan bra and the high-waisted with the pockets um, that I can't really get my hand in. Kinda works, but kinda not. I love this color, wow, love the color. I don't have the exact massive same problem as the other one, I have a little puckering, but it's not as obvious as the other one, I guess because maybe it falls differently or the shape. Um, I love the high cut, it's actually really nice. I will say is that you, you're gonna get some side boob action if you um, are not into that, just so you know. I have on um, these nipple covers, and my guess is that without them, you <laughs> would see my nipples. So keep that in mind. So maybe you do wanna wear a sports bra or not, or you want some padding. There's no padding in either one of these. Love the high cut, it just looks like a real top, which is great. Let me show you the back. I guess it looks good, can't see it, so. <laughs> and then in the leggings, same thing that's happening in the other one is that I have like a little gathering. I think I like this set better, just in general. I think it's just because of the top. But this is good to know, and I'm glad I tried two different tops so I know that they fit differently, which makes sense because they're two different tops, but anyway. 28 inch seam, I'm five, four and a half. The 28 inch, 28.5 inch seam comes down to my ankle, so. I was definitely not going to be getting capris, so these are full length. If you are my height, booty looks good. Let's go outside. Sweating, sweating, but yay, no sweat stains. I would definitely want to wear a bra under this because I was doing Chloe Ting workout and all those high knees was like killing me. Like my boobs were tiring me out. Final thoughts. My only two main concerns was the saggy, tiny saggy crotch, just tiniest bit, and then the puckering for the top for the Paloma. So both of the pants though had that saggy crotch feel and I feel like I don't know if it's just how the material stretches, where the hip section starts, I'm not sure. I don't know the mechanics of it, but I think that those are the two things that I would knock off from this brand. But I do love that they're eco-friendly. I'm so for that, 100%. Do I think it's worth the hype? I, I would say maybe, maybe as in like, would I buy something from them again? Like probably, probably would be like a Dylan top and another color, because this top is fierce. I'm gonna go ahead and exchange that Paloma top for an extra small, we're gonna hope for the best. But I did love the color, like the smooth quality. I'm impressed by the, the amount of colors that they have 
have so you can choose and you can also mix and match that is my review I'm gonna go ahead and say I do recommend the girlfriend collective if you're looking for eco-friendly if you are on a budget like I am definitely wait for the sale comment down below if you've tried girlfriend collective or any other eco-friendly activewear line and how you felt it compared to your normal fitness clothes I'll leave some links down below to some of my other videos if you're looking for sizing comparison and I thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one